Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about how to mock the, how to test the HTTP interactions. Let's try to see. So let's try to understand about how we can do the testing of this HTTP request and all those things. HTTP interactions in Angular application involves using the HTTP testing controller. So this is the thing, uh, this is the file which we'll be using, which should be imported from the Angular slash common slash HTTP slash testing package. Let's try to see. So now for this one, what I will try to do it is here, I will create a simple component so that you will be able to see. So ng gc user service. So simple component, I will create it. So I will not take uh, too much complex in this one so that you people may be able to understand what is this. So here, this is our user service. Let's just create. So here, uh, what I want to explain you is, so here we need to understand about the key concepts. First of all, we need to mock the backend. So if you are not aware of this testing thing and Angular and all the things, I have covered a complete course on this Angular testing. So for more details, you can watch that series so that you can get a clear understanding about the Angular testing and the Jasmine testing framework also I have, uh, have introduced it, I have, I have made it at a series. So you can check it, uh, those Jasmine testing series and also the Angular unit testing. So first of all, we need to know, understand the mock, uh, mocking the backend. So normally in the testing, instead of making the real HTTP request, what we need to do, first of all, we need to mock the backend using the HTTP testing controller. So this is where the HTTP testing control will be very much useful. So normally in the testing, we will not make the real HTTP request. So we will mock the backend using the HTTP testing controller. And this ensures that your tests are isolated and they're reliable as they don't need any depend on any external servers. That is one thing. First of all, we should first step is we need to mock the backend. So the, uh, so the, the testing is should be done in such a way that it should not depend on our external servers. And now application code makes an HTTP request. So the next one is test flow. How do you should application code makes an HTTP request. The test code intercepts the request using the HTTP testing controller and the test verifies the expected request details and the mocking re response uh, using the flush method. I will try to show you those all things. So for this one, what we need to do is we need to configure the test bed with the provider HTTP client and also the provide HTTP client testing also we need to do it. So always we should be placing provide HTTP client before the provide HTTP client testing so that uh, the methods and all those things will be overridden and what are present in the provide HTTP client to ensure the proper configuration. So here we have created our user component. So let's try to open this user component here. So let's say that uh, we have our user service. So here, this is our user.component.ts file. So this is our user service already. We have, okay. User, user, we have created a user service.component.ts file. So this is our user service component. Just I will provide, I will uh, use a simple concept only. Uh, sorry. So instead of creating a service, we will create a service file instead of this one. So I will close these all the things. So let's try to, instead of having a component thing, I will create a service. So here in our app and we have a services and here I will create a file user.service.ts file. Okay. So this is our ts file and for this one you will be having uh, user.service.spec.ts file. So this is our spec file. So from first onwards I will try to do it. Export class user service and this is our user service. And here I will do at the rate injectable, injectable. And here this should be provided in the root, provided in root, it should be. So now what I will try to do it is, so here I will inject the HTTP request. So constant HTTP, that should not be constant. So just I accept it. So it will be removed automatically. HTTP client. Okay. So this is the HTTP client, which I have injected. And here, let's say that we are having a get users. Thing. and this one will return the this dot http sorry this dot http dot get okay and this returns uh, this one i will be calling something like example something like this okay that's it so this one returns an url so here if you want you can have an interface at the top export interface user okay so the mocking thing and here you will be having an id of type number and you can have a name of type string. So let's assume that this is the data which we are getting it from the uh, HTTP request. And here what we are trying to do. So this one returns an observable. 
observable of user array and this one also returns an user array okay so that's it so this is the simple HTTP as a user service and we need to create a testing controller for this one so for creating the testing controller for this one so what we need to do here first we need to mention the describe okay describe so here you can you use the unique name whatever the unique name you want so you can give it user service and in this one you will try to create the test cases so here this is our test case so let's say that we are having two users use uh, sorry two variables let user service of type user service so this is the file which we are trying to do it and we need to have a testing controller right so let's create http testing of type http testing controller so this one is also completed so whenever we are trying to execute this test case so we need to execute before each okay so this is the before each and here this is the callback method and in this one we need to configure the test bed so whatever the things we need to be injected we need to do it so test bed dot configure or uh, configure testing module configure testing module of so here you need to provide the providers so what are the providers required to, for this one providers so here this is required http client only so here you can use provide http client okay and another one is so you need to provide the provide http client testing so this one is also you need to provide it that's it so first of all you need to understand that we need to provide first one the provided so must come after the provide http client only so fine so we have created this one so this is our before each so when the test is completed so here you need to do user service dot so we need sorry user service is equal to test bed so for this test bed we need to inject okay inject of user service so we will be getting the user service instance here and we want to get the http testing also http testing is equal to test bed dot inject of HTTP testing controller so we got the user service and also this one so now after completion of all this one so what we need to do it is so we can have an after each so that means when the test case is every test case is completed so this one will be executed so here I am verifying this one so that means I am removing all the things and I am checking the whether any test calls are may still making or not so I am uh, verifying that no expected HTTP requests were made so first one is the first test case, case, case what we need to write is it should fetch users so that is the main thing right and this one here what we need to write so now here mock data so I will be creating the mock data that is nothing but constant users is equal to it's an array and here you will be having id of one and a name of Alice or anything and here I will be having another one is id sorry id id of two and here I can have name of Bob that's it so these are the two mock thing and now here what I will try to do I will try to make the request so here constant request is equal to HTTP testing dot expect so only one request needs to be made for this one so we need to expect that only one request will be made to the HTTP so whatever the URL we are having it right HTTP URL exact users there. so we need to expect only one request only should be made so here and also we need to expect okay whenever we call the user so here uh, whenever we call the user I will try to show you uh, here let's try to make a request so otherwise so user service we have the user service dot get users I am calling this get users and I will use the subscribe thing okay so now you will get the users so here you will try to get the users so that's the thing and now when I try to make a request so here we are expecting only one time only it should be made and also here I am making I am thinking that expect request dot request dot method okay it should be is equal to is equal to get request sorry request dot met, method dot to be get so this is the request which you are trying to make it Okay, so get request also we have made it and what I need to do so I need to send the re resp uh, response data right so so you need to use the flush of the mock data I will try to send it sorry the mock users or otherwise the users I will try to send it so you can have the mock users or users so now 
you will get the users here so here you need to check that uh, whether the users are length or not so expect uh, here i will try to make it as a mock users so that uh, you not have any confusion and also here also i am using the same name right so that's why so here the users are there and here you need to expect the users that is nothing but the uh, users which you are trying to get it dot length to be two so why because we are sending the mock data only the two right so here to be two and also here you, you can check that expect the users to be equal or to equal you can check anything to equal of mock users and these users and these users should be equal so that's it so this is how you will be making the request here so if you are handling the errors means you can also handle the errors that uh, it should if any error occurs means it should so it should handle error and here i can have something like this one and here i can do user service dot get users still i am trying to make it the get users but here i am doing the subscribe okay and here i can have the two requests that is nothing but next thing so if you are getting the next here handling error right next error if you are getting it means then you need to really, uh, call the fail thing so expected an error in this one but we are getting the data if it goes into the next uh, thing and here if you are having another one means uh, another one is something like error thing so you can have an error and here you will get an error here so this is the case which you need to handle you are handling the error case here so here expect the error so let's say that the status the status i want to check that to be of 500 okay so we are able to get the expect of 500 now i want to simulate the request so we are subscribing to this one so here i need to simulate the request for this one what i need to do constant request is equal to http testing dot expect one request only and i am trying to make the request this one okay i am trying to make only one request so we are expecting that the request should be made only once only for this url so okay fine and we are trying to simulate this one as an error thing so here request dot flush and here we need to send something like internal server error okay so this is the error and here here you can send the status so status i am sending it as 500 and also if you want to check the stat if you want to send the status text also you can send it so server error so now i am trying to simulate the uh, error case also so this way you can handle the http request so here what i am trying to do i will try to explain you step by step so set up with the test bit so now here a provide http client sets up the http client and provide http testing client will uh, overrides the normal backend with a mocking backend and here i am using the test bit dot inject to get the user service and also the http testing controller and here i am using that expect one of uh, expect one of url means so intercepts a specific request and i am trying to check that whether verifies whether the request is get or post or not and here i am using the request dot flash means to simulate the successful response with the mock data and i am passing an error request with the flush data also <coughs> to simulate the error response so now i am using after after each test request it will take that test to http testing dot verify ensures that no unexpected requests were made so other other than this request so we are able to check that no other requests have been made so always call http testing dot verify in the after each blocks to ensure all expected requests will handle use mock data representative of real backend service to make the tests realistic write separate tests for different response scenarios example success error and empty data so this is how you will be writing the testing thing hope you understood about this uh, testing of this http if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you